Welcome to the Daily Gospel of John. Glad you're watching. Taking a brief look at verses 18 and 19 in John 21. Jesus is speaking. I tell you the truth. When you were younger, you dressed yourself and went where you wanted. But when you are old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. Jesus said this to indicate the kind of death by which Peter would glorify God. Then he said to him, follow me. So Jesus has reinstated Peter to his position as a leader among the disciples. He's going to shepherd the flock now that Jesus is ascending to heaven. And he calls him once again to follow him. But before calling him again to follow him, he says, listen, this is the kind of death you're going to die. They'll stretch out your hands. He's referring to a crucifixion. Church history tells us that Peter was crucified about 34 years after Jesus ascended into heaven. Um, and Peter, out of reverence for Jesus, asked to be crucified upside down instead of in the same way as Jesus. And he glorified God in even his death as well as his life. And what a privilege that is because we all die. We all will die. But how awesome to be able to die a death of courage, of faithfulness, of um, following Jesus even when things get tough. Because the rewards are eternal. Paul said our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far exceeds them all. In Romans 8 he said, I, I, I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. In Hebrews chapter 11, speaking of Moses, it even tells how he chose to suffer affliction with the people of God rather than to enjoy the passing pleasures of sin. Why? Because he was looking forward to his reward. He was looking ahead to eternal rewards for his faithfulness even though the going got tough. And so that's a decision we all still have to make. Our decision might not lead us in uh, as drastic of a place as it did for Peter to be dying on a cross upside down uh, because of the persecutions of the Romans, but um, there may be some tough things ahead for us if we really decide to truly follow Jesus. Um, but it's worth it. In Luke chapter 9, Jesus said this, If anyone would come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever, who want, whoever wants to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for me will save it. What good is it for a man to gain the whole world and yet lose or forfeit his very self? If anyone is ashamed of me and my words, the Son of Man will be ashamed of him when he comes in his glory and in the glory of the Father and of the holy angels. So we have to make some decisions. Um, uh, William Wallace in Braveheart, probably my favorite movie of all time, said, um, every man dies, but not every man truly lives. And so as Jim Elliot, the famous uh, Christian martyr of the 20th century said, uh, he is no fool who gives up what he cannot keep to gain what he can never lose. So I think following Jesus, though it may be tough at times, uh, in this country certainly not in these days, it may become so, but in many parts of the world today, uh, in this 21st century, Christians being slaughtered in many Muslim countries simply for being followers of Jesus. So it's happening uh, in many parts of the world today. But we all are going to die from something. And if there's an eternity ahead, wouldn't it be awesome to have some stories to tell of faithful service to King Jesus, even when things got tough? That will be quite a joy. I hope that I have some of those stories. I'm not looking forward to any kind of crazy martyr death or anything. But if that's what God has in store, certainly he would give grace to deal with it at the time. 
Anyway, thanks for watching. God bless.